Hello everyone, with me here at CRI today, I have the Inspire Award winners at the Indiana State Championship this year and ranked 19th in Jemison, Team 14596 Accelerate. And we're going to take a deep dive into their robot, all about their hardware, how they have such a consistent robot, and more on First Updates Now. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. All right, Liam, let's start with your drivetrain. I think, mm -hmm. you know, you guys are just zipping around the field always. Can we talk about like what went into your drivetrain design, how it is, what it is today? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing about our drivetrain, we started out with the Go Build the Chassis our first season and we knew we wanted to improve from there. So we designed a fully customized drivetrain for our, our last season and then we completely redesigned it again for this off season. However, with the start of the barriers, there were a few issues with that drivetrain. Namely, we couldn't use the odometry we had planned on using, and we needed a way to get over. So we just modified these side panels and adjusted them just simply go up and over the barriers. And they had to go up enough that we don't collide and are able to smoothly drive over them and go around them. Yeah, sure. I mean, if it works, it works, right? Yeah, exactly. I think the next part of your robot that's really eye-catching is your guys' intake. You guys have this super smooth Rover Ruckus-style extension system. Uh, can you talk about like how it's changed throughout the season and what it is now? Honestly, that system is one of the ones that has stayed mostly the same in terms of its design. And bringing up Rover Ruckus is exactly what it was. We knew we saw these elements before. We competed in Rover Ruckus, so we said, hey, we can do this again. Yeah. So we wanted that extending intake to just be able to reach out, grab all the way in the corner very easily. Yeah. yeah, no, awesome. And, uh, you know, have, have, have you guys had any issues? Like, have you tried different types of uh, surgical tubing or anything like that? Um, or just been uh, good from the get-go? With the intake itself, we've been pretty good with it. There were just a few modifications with the actual length of these fingers. We had to make them just slightly longer to be able to reach in and grab from the wall, just to make it a bit easier to collect them. Yeah, awesome. And then let's go on to your deposit. You guys have another set of slides for your deposit. Yep. Has that, have you guys had any issues with that? Have you, like, how are you driving it, first of all? Uh, well, currently, we're running it a continuous style. We had initially planned on doing it a cascade. However, with only two extensions, we found that the time saved was not worth, like, the time invested to make it all work. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. No, that it, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and have you guys run like a custom pulley for that? Did you try different pulley sizes or are you just running like a stock pulley? For our up and down, we're running a stock pulley, but for our in and out, it's kind of buried, so it's going to be really hard to see. But it's a fully customized pulley that will extend in exact one, ex or one rotation of that motor. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's yep. super cool. And then let's talk about your guys' deposit box as well. It seems very optimized, you know, like very minimal. Uh, how has that changed throughout the season and how does it work now? Um, I th the initial design with this is it went, here, if you can pull that up, it went all the way. So it was about 200 millimeters long and we pretty much cut it in half for our state competition. Just We found we didn't need that and to make cycles quicker and to be able to score more consistently. Mm -hmm. We wanted to take that yeah, off. Yeah, and was your guys' strategy coming into the season to focus on that Alliance shipping hub or a shared shipping hub or some combination of both? What did you guys think? Our initial thoughts, we wanted to make sure we could do that Alliance shipping hub and we can do the shared semi well, but definitely not as good as we can do that Alliance share. I see. Yeah, and uh, no, I think that's like a really great overview. What do you think is like the biggest takeaway you guys have had with your robot this season? Um, I think kind of what we learned this year and building off of what we've learned from last season, the, simpl the simplest solution is usually the best. And I think we need to rely a bit more on our programming. We need to be a bit more complex in our technical design so we can rely a bit more on our programming. Sure, and are you guys using like any driver automations and programming to speed things up? Uh, we actually are. So we have encoders on all of our motors for extensions so that we can run them at full power without breaking them so that we can say, go out to full, come back to full. Yeah, awesome. I mean, that's super reliable. Yep. And so you guys just have one button, like, presses that just take you all the way out uh, to the correct level? Currently, they're on joysticks, but the joysticks, like, will stop out. Like, he, oh, I he's see. still holding the joystick down, but it won't go any further once yeah. it's at max. No, that makes sense. And I think one more thing that I'm seeing under what is you guys have some sort of mechanism here in the back. What exactly does it do? So that's our team shipping element system. It's, yep, if you want to drop that down, bring the arm in. So we have magnets in the back oh, wow. that actually clap or clamp on so that we can pull it up here if you want to bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> 
so initially in our season, we weren't sure exactly how we were going to do this team stripping element. And before kind of the meta came out with that cup and tape measure, we were working on a system with magnets already. And we really just wanted to continue it because it was such a like really fun and unique system, we mm -hmm. felt. And that's kind of one of our, our most unique systems of this robot. Yeah, no, I mean, that seems like super cool. And do you use this to hold the team shipping element the whole way through the match? Or is it just you pick it up at the end of the game? Uh, we will pick it up at the end of the game. Just uh, when we pick it up during the middle of the match, it's a bit hard to maneuver a bit. It just It's more stuff on the back of our robot. Mm -hmm. And it's just we found it's easier to pick it up right at the end. Sure. And I think the last thing we can touch on is mm -hmm. your guys' duck mechanism. Uh, it seems like you guys have a very consistent, reliable, simple duck mechanism. Has it changed at all throughout the season or just sort of worked from the get-go? Um, it did change. So initially our robot was 18 inches cube. So we couldn't go over the, or we couldn't go around the barrier. And so it was an extending arm that would pivot out to hit the ducks. Then we decided when we made our robot smaller, we said, why not just send it over our intake? And it, I mean, it's a really simple system, but we have acceleration code. People will accelerate the uh, ducks at their maximum uh, velocity so that they don't fly off and we can spin them as fast as we possibly can. Yeah, no, I mean, it just seems like everything works really, really well on your robot. I'm excited to see how you guys do at CRI. I think you're yeah, going to perform exceptionally. I really hope that everything is working well and everything <laughs> yeah. does go good. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. So I think you guys have given a great overview of your robot. Thank you. Uh, I, just a really great interview all around. Reporting for First Updates now, I'm a boss. This video on First Updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.